do it for me. You need yeah. a pee. Hi, T. Hi, T. <laughs> Always take out all of this. Yay! <laughs> what? I just that was bad. That was bad. Okay. Woo! <laughs> to another wine spill video. It's been a while. Um, the last one was for our 30th birthday. <gasps> So 2020, you said 2021 on your story. Yes, end of 2021. Okay, since it's wine spill, we can't forget about the wine. And we have this really nice bottle that our friend got for us, our friend at Pisces. He's the owner of Pisces. Yes, he is. Thank you. And we've been saving this for our wine spill today. So let's Are you do ready? It. I'm ready. All right, here's yours. First pour. <laughs> That smells good too. We gotta it smells good. Oh yeah, this first. Condition stick. Cheers. Cheers. It's hangover cure. This is the chadu. So plum. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. Not sponsored. Thank you. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, it's good. Ooh. First question is, uh, I, I guess it's work related, but they asked, what do you think of the influencer scene in Korea, like foreign and Korean scenes, and mm -hmm. how hard is it keeping up with influencer life? Oh. Ashley, we're not talking about work in this episode today. <laughs> what the f are you doing? We're gonna talk about relationships only. Only? Are no. you kidding me? Wait. I have from oh my, my Q&A today. No, this, we are not talking about anything serious today. Okay, fine. Okay, if you Do wanna... we talk about this stuff when we're having our wine nights? No, we're not. Okay, fine. We're gonna only talk about the juicy stuff because my video was professional. If you wanna see work-related content, you guys can watch yeah. Joan's video. We're not talking about that here. This is Valentine's Day. After Valentine's Day, we have wine. We have heart-shaped chocolates in front of us. We are not talking talking about work. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. First question then. Mm. Have you ever considered freezing your eggs to have a baby oh, in the future? Oh, <laughs> that, you got right into it. <laughs> um, no, I didn't. Really? Well, I, I don't want, well, I don't know. Wow, this is, this is kind of nerve wracking if I say this on camera. I haven't thought about like kids yet. Mm. So I know, and I know that people say freeze eggs because you don't know how you'll feel like, but I don't know. I know my, a lot of my friends tell me that I should, mm. but I'm like, oh, I mean, for me, kids, I don't really think about it yet. Mm. So no, I haven't. Yeah. How about you? Same. Well, I don't really know too much about it to begin mm. with. Um, and I don't have anyone around me who has done it. Oh, okay. Um, maybe some people in America might have done it. But I don't think it's like a serious like topic mm. amongst our group of friends as well. But mm. every time I go to the States, it's definitely really? a topic that comes up every time I'm having dinner so with like my friends. friends. Who a lot of my friends have. So they're like, Joan, you have to. And I'm like, oh. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know yet. I think this is a very personal thing. So, wow, it got, it got pretty like. <laughs> Ashley, I know we started off with. This why very would you start with this question? question? No, 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, not to offend anyone, but mm. I mean, if it's for you, if that's something you're interested in, I, like that's your choice, mm. I think. But personally, for me, I haven't really thought about it. Yeah, and you too, right? same. Mm. I'm sick and tired of situationships. Oh. Any advice? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I feel like my entire life is just situationships. <laughs> yeah, so funny. You've never had a situationship, have you? I have. You have. Just one. Just one. How just convenient. Uh, it's so much like... It's a lot of stress to have situationships because, yeah. I mean, I think you and I are both quite emotional. Mm -hmm. So like, it's too much emotional damage. Yeah, I admit it was a little exciting in the beginning. There is that kind of excitement and mystery and not knowing what we really are. Yeah. And like, there's no responsibility, right? Because mm -hmm. there, there's no commitment. Yeah. But I realized after that situation, I'm someone who does need commitment mm -hmm. and does want commitment from the other person mm -hmm. as well. And I, I'm, I'm not the person to be in like a light relationship. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, I'm glad because it helped either. me really realize that's true, yeah. true true i don't know why i fall into this like 
category each time because I don't like wasting my time either, mm -hmm. but it just happens to be that way, right? You, you know this. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's also because I'm way too hyper-independent. I don't know how to be taken care of. Mm. So when someone's, like, nice to me, I don't even know. Like, when Ashley's like, oh, I got you this, like, back brace. I was like, oh, my gosh, that's, like, so sweet. It was for, like, our posture. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, that is, like, you thought of, like, what I said. Like, I, I don't know how to receive, mm. like, anything. Mm. So for me, a relationship is kind of tough because I don't know how to be dependent on anyone. I haven't been dependent on anybody in my life. Like maybe my mom, mm -hmm. but now it's the opposite. Like my mom is quite dependent on me. Yeah. So like, I don't know how. And I'm a firstborn. I mean, you were firstborn, too. Born, firstborn too. <laughs> but I saw somewhere on like the internet about how firstborn daughters are extremely hard to date because, <gasps> like, there was like something about that because we we're like way too depend, uh, like hyper independent. Mm. Wait, was this, so any advice for any situationships? Any advice for situationships? Just have fun, I guess. No, really, that's the that's the whole point of situationships. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get serious, if one person wants to get serious, you have to just have that talk. What advice? can you give to situationships if you're sick of it like you don't want to be in a situation you want to be in a serious relationship yeah. like when you're meeting someone let them know f from the beginning that you're not like you're looking for something serious and yeah. if they are too then they'll stick around and it can evolve and grow and if they're not then you won't be heartbroken because mm -hmm. you know from the beginning they'll be like okay this is not what I'm looking for and you'll be like okay then yeah let's not do this oh my gosh what this looks really good. Oh my god, I thought you had some like tea to spill. I don't have tea to spill. <laughs> we could do friendship questions, right? No, we're only talking about relationships. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Ashley. Why? Are you f***ing kidding me? It's already been 17 minutes and we didn't even get to the real tea yet. <sighs> Dude, I feel it coming up already. You know why? Because I'm on my period. You, no, it's because you're excited. I'm excited. Everyone wanted to know, mm -hmm. are you guys dating? Mm -hmm. Do you have any special someone in your life? Are you guys in a relationship? Oh, okay, yeah. There are a lot of questions. Okay. <laughs> so I am dating. Um, she has been. I have been. For how long? For like for over four years. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> um, I think because I started as an idol, mm -hmm. I was kind of scared that my fans would be disappointed, mm -hmm. feeling guilty. Because, mm. you know, since you're young, you're always like, idols shouldn't date or whatever. Um, like, you have to focus on work, blah, blah, blah. Um, and also, I guess because... I put a lot of my life out there through mm. vlogs and everything else. Kind of wanted to keep it a little, like my own little secret, mm -hmm. you know, little secret. Yeah. Um, but the reason why I am like sharing it now is because um, I'm going to move in with him <coughs> soon. So that's like another huge change that's mm -hmm. happening. So I'm like, I'm going to continue YouTube. So if we live together, it's going to be obvious that there's someone else that You're I'm living, living with, with right? Someone. I feel comfortable enough to speak about it now. And I yeah. do like think about my future with this person. So yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm just imagining like in an upcoming vlog and he like just, you know, even like his voice or I don't know. He's really funny. So <laughs> ah! I know. So cute. I'm, I'm not dating. <laughs> so there was like the extreme contrast, but mm. you, she has, and I've seen that relationship blossom. We yeah, want. She was there from the very beginning through all the drama, the tears. All the drama. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I've seen it blossom to what it is today. So we want a boyfriend tag. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe years Dude. down the road. Next wine spill is not with me. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to imagine. Do you feel more or less pressured to find a romantic life partner as you get older, being single in your 30s? I think a lot of people have questions about this because everyone, like a lot of my friends who are married, they also wanted to get married before they turned 30. Mm. Were, you, were you like this at all? I mean, when I was younger, I wanted yeah. to get married at 26. Me too. 27 for me. Yeah. So I think 
since we're both single and not married, single meaning not married, <laughs> do you feel pressured about that? No. Really? <laughs> Interesting, because I do. I know. Who gives you pressure? Oh my god, everybody. Everyone gives pressure. Even in my 20s, I wanted to get married. Like, I still did want to get married before 30s. Mm -hmm. And when I turned 30, I'm like, am I going to be this way forever? <laughs> so that idea kind of does scare me. Mm -hmm. And then all the upper, like, classmen or all the people who are older than me would be like, oh, like, you have, like, a biological clock. Like, you have, like, a certain time. And so for me, hearing all of this and not dating mm -hmm. is extremely extremely like it's a lot of pressure because mm -hmm. you know there's not someone I can kind of be like okay like it doesn't none of this matters because I'm in love and I you know like I could depend on this person I don't even have that so there are moments where I'm like oh like I am way too single for my own good like mm -hmm. that kind of stuff does pressure me but I think like it helps that my parents are not the ones pressuring yeah. me mm -hmm. because in the beginning when I first moved to Korea my mom were like my mom would be like do you wanna like blind date blind date oh dates. my gosh but I, I was so against it and I got in a heated argument with mm -hmm. my mom about this and ever since then she hasn't <gasps> like brought it up I'm thankful too because my parents aren't like what's the rush probably because mm. they got married so early oh yeah yeah they got married when they were 23 mm. they didn't have any anything so they know how hard it is mm -hmm. I mean they do know that we do have plans on mm -hmm. marriage but with kids too they're just like I don't care if I'm a grandpa or grandma yeah. or not or maybe that's what they say now because they're still kind of young yeah, who knows yeah. but they're like you don't have to have kids so thankfully I'm mm -hmm. not pressured at all I'm 32 now about to be 33 end of the year yeah who knows what's gonna happen yeah you never know you never that's know. the crazy thing that's true <laughs> they wanted to know how we keep the spark alive in our friendship I think doing new things together yeah like traveling when we went to Tokyo oh, that was together fun. that was definitely something that um, is different from our usual you know hangouts because we usually just drink wine I mean which is always a fun yes, time it's but a lot um, traveling. Actually, you and I like I feel like we're very like low maintenance low maintenance friend like oh, we don't okay. have to oh yeah oh, oh no we're both very high maintenance no, me no. yes oh my god look at your outfit of mine today you're high maintenance today i'm very low maintenance and also we don't have to like go to the best restaurant go to the best like cafes sometimes we literally just go to the most like whatever we love tteokbokki we like tteokbokki we like sachon on tteokbokki yeah wait girl i know you like me but you're you're supposed to be over here am i why did you come all the way why did you come all the way here this camera your wine glass is over here this oh is God. wine spill we gotta drink wine it's getting hot in here is it no it's okay it's okay. okay it's wine <laughs> anyways yes yeah, so trying to do new stuff together sometimes we do i mean it's been a while but we say like let's do a date night like dress oh, yeah. up and then go so somewhere cute. nice um yeah so i do think you have to make an effort mm -hmm. you check up on me a lot which is very nice i think i'm really bad at reaching out oh though. my god you're like, so good at reaching out out of everyone you're like really good no you're good i call you yeah i don't call because oh, okay. I, like you facetime me a oh, lot yeah, like face randomly <laughs> yeah and you just like call me or ask me like how are you feeling yeah. today or whatever and every time i'm like dang she checks up on me but like, i only I should check do that. up on you like that because you check up on me that's true though because i don't do this to everyone i really don't i wish i could just casually randomly facetime you and stuff because uh -huh. i'm always i'm like this with everyone why i'm like oh my god like i don't want to catch him at a bad time what if i'm like distracted? i don't care them? even I don't if wanna... i'm on the toilet i'll be like i'm on the toilet let Couldn't me call they, you back like, in a I little think bit too much i overthink what? it with facetime but okay. like message is fine i'll just like always message what? my friends but facetime or like i don't know like calling mm -hmm. i'm like what if they're busy <laughs> i just i don't think i'm a big like like FaceTime person. Really? Yeah. I am a big FaceTime person for life. I don't life. know why. I think I, it gives me a little anxiety. I like FaceTiming more than calling. So you don't mind that, right? Yeah, Are yeah, you? yeah. Okay. No, I like it when other people call me, mm -hmm. but it's just I get shy to like call someone else. <gasps> oh my though. gosh. Yeah. So are you a texter or are you a caller? What do you prefer more? Okay, rank, text, call, FaceTime. Okay. 
Okay, text is last because uh -huh. so many things get misunderstood through text. Yes. And I'm not the most friendly texter. I don't put a lot of emojis. Oh my gosh, Ashley though, you, you, in the beginning when I first met you, you were a emoji person. I know, but now I'm just yeah, so lazy. I'm just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on my way. <laughs> she does. Talk to you soon. Be there soon. But I don't mean it like that. It's I just, know. I'm in a rush. I just want to respond as soon as possible. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But, you know, in actuality, it's kind of like, okay, I'll see you soon. <laughs> bye bye. But my text sounds like, okay, yeah. bye bye. Yeah. I'll see you soon. True. I guess FaceTime and then call. Okay. Call is number one. All right. So it's really important to have like cozy, just really comfortable oh, yeah, that's nights where this at home. Is. But it's nice to do something like just as if you were dating, right? Yeah, yeah You're going to yeah. have chill moments at home just watching Netflix, yeah. getting takeout. But there are going to be days when you um, dress up and yeah. go somewhere special. For like sure. it should be the same way for friendships too. And like both sides should be making an effort. Yes. Yeah. Do you think there is an easy way to end a friendship without it looking like a high school drama oh my gosh i feel like even if you try to be mature mm -hmm. about it and talk to them and yeah. just be like I, I i don't think this is working out yeah. whoever is on the receiving end of that yeah. is gonna be bitter oh aren't they like yeah but isn't that better than ghosting oh yeah way yeah. better than ghosting i've done that before like mm -hmm. i've i've broken up with a friend before uh-huh is that fucked up? No. It's tough for me because I treat every friendship like a relationship. Mm -hmm. So like I kind of expect every friendship to be reciprocated to me. So if a friend doesn't kind of give the same energy that I do, I get I get really butt hurt. Mm -hmm. I really get butt hurt and I like don't know how to confront people because like so there's like a TikTok about like, "Oh, I don't need a boyfriend. I have a, my best friend." But my best friend has a boyfriend. Do you know that one? Did you no. see that one? Oh my gosh, there's like a TikTok about that. And I was like, oh, that's so me. Like most of the time, I'm too single for my own good. But I don't know, maybe like that will be different if I'm like in a relationship and like I have friends. I'm grateful because Ashley, you're very good at like friendship relationship balance. A lot of my friends are not good at that. A lot of them are not. I think my married friends are good because they want to get out of the house. <laughs> But, <laughs> do you know what I mean? She's very good at balancing. That is something I think Ashley should make a specific video on about because I think like you do it the best. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, for a person who's not married. We also have friends who are like, once they get into a relationship, it's like you, you never do not hear see from them. them. Nope. They're gone. Cough, cough. Also in our group chat, the, oh, my the most goodness. talkative person, our once guys, they oh. get into a relationship, yeah. They're just like MIA. There are friends in our group chat. Keep the same energy. Exactly. Like <laughs> all of a sudden this person's like texting our group chat. We're like, hey, they're so single. <laughs> Did you break up? No, we say it. We like, we put them, throw them under the bus. We're like, are you freaking single again? And then like one week later, n no energy. We're close enough to call them out in those scenarios, which I'm grateful for. Yeah. And they know it. Yeah, That's the they thing. know it. They know it. <laughs> so okay, funny. Okay, cheers. I'm gonna finish this bottle. This is so fun. Are you feeling tipsy at all? No. Oh. I'm not on my menstrual cycle. Don't break off the friendship, but move them to the acquaintance. Let's say I was friends with this person and I'm like, oh, this person doesn't feel like a friend to me. So I'm going to move this person as like an acquaintance priority. Oh my gosh, this sounds very fucked up. But like <laughs> if I do were to do that, mm -hmm. but let's say the person on the receiving side made an effort to come back. I'm not going to be like, fuck you. I'm yeah, going to be yeah, like, yeah. oh my gosh, thank you. Like here, like I would be able to confront this person. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For me, I think I just like slowly kind of distance myself. Yeah. I don't say straight out like, let's yeah. stop being friends because I guess like I don't want to stop oh, yeah. being completely friends. If you ever distance yourself, I'm I'm FaceTiming you every day. <laughs> I'm like, hey, 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 24-7. I'm like, wait. Do you ever plan on moving back to US? Oh my god. You go first. I'm gonna eat this one. Um for me. <sighs> Uh, I can't really imagine myself living in U.S. anymore. I feel like Korea is very comfortable for me now. And I've actually been living in Korea longer than I've lived in the States. Because I lived in Korea until I was 9. And then I lived here from when I was 20 till now. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've only lived in the States for 11 years. Mm -hmm. And like healthcare here is much more affordable and 
Easy. It's a very convenient place to be. It is. But then also when I think of the future and like kids, I do get a little concerned. But that's not my life right now. That's not like present for me. So I'm trying not to think about that. I do eventually want to go back. Mm. And honestly, in 2020, I was planning on moving back to the States. But COVID happened. You just never know with life. So I'm yeah. just kind of like waiting it out and mm. seeing when the best time is. But I do want to move back. I feel there's pressure, but no pressure at the same time every time I'm there. I really like my friends there. Not like I like my friends here too. Of course you do. Yeah, of course I do. I don't know. Maybe it can happen in the near future, but I'm scared because I did build like a very, like my 20s was spent in Korea. And the idea scares me, but I think moving back to the States, whether it's LA or New York, mm -hmm. I think that alone will be like a big risk yeah. that will be upcoming for me. I also can't date Korean men. Mm, <laughs> like Korean, Korean. Korean, Korean men. So that limits a lot. Yeah, and all the English speakers are like my friends, so I'm like, yeah. mm, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, worst thing your ex has done? Spill. Spill? Spill. Oh my gosh, this person. It was a long situation ship for like a few months for sure. And this person ghosted me mm -hmm. and started dating one of my friends. That's kind of like <gasps> shitty. Yeah. Wait, what? Who? You know. You know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. With a friend. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of bad. How about you? Um, the worst thing, I think like in hindsight, I didn't know back then, but I think after I broke up, I just realized how my ex, who I dated for a very long time actually, just somehow got all of my friends' numbers and talked to them. Oh yeah. But just messaged them and talked to them all the time. And back then I was like, oh, it's cause he's such a friendly person. He like he's such friends. an extrovert. He wants to be a good oppa. But now that I think about it, cause he was Korean American, I think he just really wanted to hear oppa. Cause it was all my like, like Tongsengs, it was my close, pretty younger friends, oh. and they would all call him Oppa, right? So uh, I think uh, he just wanted to hear, uh. and he wanted to be called Oppa. One day he dropped me off. He was super drunk, mm -hmm. uh, but he didn't text me when he got home. So I was concerned yeah. and I was like worried because you know I'm a worry word. So I jumped to conclusions. Mm -hmm. I was like, what if he's like knocked out on the streets? Yeah. Like, so I took a cab and I was I I went to his house and yeah. then I went in and he was laughing and talking on the phone yeah with your friend yeah i remember this and yeah. i went in and i was like what are you doing and he was like oh i i just thought you were sleeping so i was just talking on the phone and then she stopped talking to him after yeah. that because then she was like okay that's a little <sighs> sus but then even then i was like i should have known yeah this is a little weird but, but she dated him for another three years after that right <laughs> yeah you did fuck you Last really question. last question. Okay, really last question. Okay. Where okay. do you want to see yourself in five years? Where do I want to see myself? So we'd be what, 37? <gasps> we would be 37. In our primes. <laughs> in our primes. Yeah, 37. is 30, 37's a prime number, so it would be oh, a, yeah. in our we would be in our prime. <laughs> in five years, um married and living in Chejudo. Aww. I'll be Jejudo. living in Chejudo, guys. So wow. come visit me. I will. And you have to visit me because by then I would have to be back in America. No! I think I will be back in America by 37. I think that's like where I see myself. That's like what, 20? That's 2019. No, 2019. <laughs> Not back in time. <laughs> 2029? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I really like being in America. I really like, you it, like too, it too. Because yeah. I just feel whenever I land in America, mm -hmm. I feel like a. a like a load has been lifted yeah. off my shoulders. But maybe it's because I go there for, for vacation to see yeah. my family. So I don't know what it would be like uh -huh. to settle down there and have to work, having right. to work there. In Korea, I I feel like I'm always behind in yeah. like procedures, even examples. Procedures. Like people are like, you have to get this done. I'm like, yeah. oh, oh, I what is that? Know, yeah. I didn't even know you can get that done. And so like 
I mean, I'm not saying like this is not every single relationship and like with friends, mm -hmm. but I feel like there's just like a pressure to continuously look young, continuously yes. act young, continuously make a certain amount of money, continuously like search for the partner that might be your forever or just you know I don't I don't know like I feel like more people here care like my American friends I have a lot of amazing beautiful single friends in the states and they don't feel bothered at all but here if I'm single another person would be like do you enjoy life like what's the purpose of life like oh people God, have yeah. they make relationships sound like it's everything. supposed to be everything I think that literally just stresses me out when I'm here mm. ultimately five years later I think I'll be in the states and in you'll be in Jejudo yeah damn that's gonna be a long distance friendship yeah but i think i thrive i do good job with like long distance friendships mm. because we're at the age where we can't really like yeah constantly it's, talk. yeah it's hard time goes by so fast I'm as like, we age yeah i'm yeah. like oh my god it's already been like six months since we last saw yeah. each other like it feels like I just know. yesterday yeah it's crazy but yeah thumbnail Okay, anyways. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I hope you guys enjoy the wine spill video. 32 edition. Do we finish it? No. This is the 32nd wine spill episode? No, oh, I'm saying like, my. we are 32. Okay, I was gonna say. 32 edition. Crazy. I just hope you had fun with us and I'll see you guys around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I should continue the adulting series when moving in or if I should start a new series. You need to start a new series. But I like adulting series. Adulting series, I'm yes. I'm still adulting. <laughs> Oh my gosh, do okay, a boyfriend let me tag. know if you d agree. Let me know what you guys think. Boyfriend Free tips tag. Now. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you, Joan. Of course. This was fun. It was fun. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thumbnail. More yeah.